Hi, hello, I'm Anna, and I'm going through chaos because of Talia Grace. <laughs> So as you saw in the thumbnail and that intro, we are now in the second episode of the Making of Telly Grace series. And I'll admit, I'm really excited, but also nervous. Nervous sighted. Yes, that is a good word for it. Because we're, um, cutting a wig, which is always terrifying. So Talia is one of my oldest characters, and because of that, she has had multiple different wigs over the years. Uh, I'm going to insert the different wigs here and put the dates on them because honestly, it's a long story, but to make it really short, first wig, it was Percy's wig. It was one of my first wigs I ever had. Um, and it didn't last exactly that long. I felt like I had a bowl cut, but I do think the pictures from it are still really cool. Second wig, fired off a wish. Um, had that for a long time. I think I still have it. There wasn't really anything wrong. I just wanted an upgrade. And then third wig is currently Dean's Potter's wig. It is currently Percy's wig. And I do love it. I really do. But it didn't look good with the tiaras. It would get smushed down and all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to change it. So that 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 is the point today. <laughs> so in the vein of upgrading Talia Grace's wig, I actually got her lace front wig. Um, I've gotten addicted to those things because they look really, really pretty and really good. Good examples of that would be my Rachel Elizabeth Dare and my Femme Jason Grace cosplays. Uh, more specifically, my Femme Jason Grace because that is the exact same store I bought my Talia Grace wig from. I haven't seen it. We are doing an unboxing today. I'm very excited to see it. So before we go ahead and dive into this goodness, I'm going to put a disclaimer. I don't know how I'm going to film this, and I don't know how instructional slash tutorial-esque this is going to be, because the way I cut my wigs is eyeballing it. With all that said, I am definitely going to use my wig head. It's just how much I'm actually going to use it is the question. <laughs> Finally, with those disclaimers out of the way, I'm going to put timestamps right here so you can skip around because I know I talk a lot and I have a feeling this video is going to be longer than I want it to be. What I do know is going to be in here though. I'm going to be unboxing the wig. I'm going to be straining the wig with the steamer, cutting the lace and cutting the wig. The last two, I don't know in which order I'm going to do it, but I know I'm going to do it though. <laughs> we are finally at the one of the most exciting portions of this, and that's, that's, that's unboxing the wig. I, when I said I haven't taken it out of its package, I literally meant I have not taken this out of its package. Like, no holes, nothing. I did try to pick out when I first got it, but then I told myself no, because I wanted to film myself. So I'm really excited to put this on, and, well, you know, use this. Okay, I know I just sniffed this, but like, you know that new package smell? To me, that's like the, that's a new wig smell, so I'm very excited. So, like previously stated, I hope, I got this wig from Wiggis Fashion. They have decently priced wigs, but the quality of these wigs are really freaking good. I did so much research when I was looking for my Jason Grace wig because I really wanted to get something really nice uh, that would last a long time, especially for the price of these wigs. And I wanted something cheap on the cheaper end anyway, but I really wanted something of quality as well. So, oh, that smells like a wig. <laughs> Organized. Oh, ooh, that is not light lace. Okay, let's let's try this on real quick. Give it a good shake, though. Okay, not bad. She cute. 
She hella cute. Hey. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Where's my phone? Alright. My worries about this blending are gone. Oh my god. She's so thick too. Oh, she's so cute! So I actually got this wig specifically because it's an all part wig because I personally kind of want to be able to part Tolly's hair any way I want. Oh, she's cute. This kind of reminds me of when I actually had hair like this. Although my hair was lighter. <laughs> Wait, let me go look in the mirror. I'll be right back. I'm, I'm, I just want to check myself out real quick. <laughs> Hi. Okay, 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 okay. Um, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so I just parted this wig in the middle, as you can kind of see. And I did that on purpose because, I know I'm talking really fast. I did that on purpose because, um, I look really ridiculous with this lace over my eyes. But, um, no, I did that because I, I, Wanted to see what it looked like with the middle part because in the picture for Talia, she has a middle part. I need to get rid of this. She has a middle part and dude, I look really cool. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I'll be right back. I got to calm down first. A few minutes later. All right. So I, 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 I love this wig as you can clearly see. <laughs> um, I am done playing with this wig right now. <laughs> but I do want to point out some things about it, and this is specifically just what the company does. So, they have the tendency to, like, putting combs here on the temples, that makes sense. But for some reason, they put a comb here, and I never understand why. It's a nice little addition, helps to keep it on your head, but they don't get it. And second of all, of course, they have the adjusting straps which helps it make uh, fit your head and stuff. Actually, this is a little big on my head, so this is a very nice welcome thing. Lastly, as you can see, the tracks are just pure fabric. Um, the wig is literally sewn into the this lace, uh, which is nice, And because my concern here is that if I accidentally cut it too short, I'll have a bald spot, but at least the bald spot is dark so it won't be as noticeable because um i'm not buying another one nope these are not cheap <laughs> as previously stated but she's wonderful and i'm super excited to get started on styling her that said i need to head to walmart real quick because i forgot to grab one last tool am i taking you with me no so next time you see me We'll be in the corner of my room because we'll be steaming it, streaming it. Let's have fun. See you in a minute. Hello. <laughs> so it's actually been a few hours. Um, the trip took longer than I thought and then I had to go do some stuff afterwards. So now that she's all pinned down and pretty sturdy, uh, she needs to be straightened. My steamer is in here, so I'll see you in another two seconds. It's been another hour because I ate and got distracted by doing TikToks. Foot. I have my steamer out. I actually preheated it. It was just being noisy and I really wanted to do this intro. One thing I do want to note, I'm going to say this probably every single time until I forget. Please have protection when you do stuff like this. I can't find the one I usually use, so we're using an oven mitt. But I can't, I can't, I can't overstate how much this hurts when you burn yourself with steam. So please just have some protection with your hands. That's all I ask. So steaming a wig is actually really easy. All you need to do is section the hair off. What I did here specifically is I pulled whatever hair I wasn't steaming at that very moment and just clipped it to the side and then went in small sections because it works faster that way. I know that sounds counterintuitive, but the, the smaller the hair, the faster it straightens. And then I comb it because it's really easy to actually get it straight after I comb it. it while well, it's heated still, but it's wet and I let that dry like that. And that's it. That's it. Just go in small sections and you'll be a winner. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, so obviously she is lightly straightened. And I say lightly because I didn't ever really touch the top uh, because I wanted to keep the volume in the wig. There are multiple layers, so it's a bit shaggy right now, but I'm not concerned about that because this, oh, you're squeaky, uh, is gonna get cut off. So with that said, I'm gonna go into the quiet portion and voiceover on is gonna take over. So say hi to voiceover on us. So I did the most important thing first, which is parting the wig in certain areas where I know it's gonna affect it later. And then I started chopping without any method at all, just started cutting out the wig uh, because I knew that hair in particular is not gonna be of use to me at all. And then when I saw it was at a certain length, I took it off and put it on my head, which we will see in a little bit. I am forewarning you though, because Th this project t was hard. <laughs> it was really, really hard in the sense of uh, it took twists and turns. So as organized as I planned this video on being, it's not going to be organized at all. Um, there are little surprises that are going to come out along the way. With that being said, we are now at the length where I'm going into the bathroom because I need to see it on my head. <laughs> So you're probably wondering what tools I'm using for this project. Right here, I'm actually using a rat-tailed comb to section off the hair when I need to, as well as clips to keep it out of my way. Here, I'm using a razor, a very tiny one at that, that I bought at Target. The rat-tailed comb I actually got at the dollar store, a pack of them, and as well as the clips, I got it from the same place. I'm also using thinning shears at some points and some normal scissors as well. As for my poison of choice, I'm actually pulling the hair away from my face and backwards to cut it, which is gonna bite me in the butt later, but thank goodness I did it in the beginning because it did kind of help, but also it hindered. It added a lot of weight to the hair. And the reason why it added so much weight to the hair is because it added layers that I didn't intend on having. So it kind of, well, you'll see, it's very thick and it, the hair stuck out and it just looked really weird. So just keep an eye out for that. I do recommend you sectioning and um, using a razor and all that kind of stuff, but just, just keep an eye on it. Trust me. <laughs> I do get a tool later that I will talk about that really helped take off the weight off the wig. So as you can see, I had to change cameras because my other one died and I didn't take that as a cue to go to bed. I actually stayed up till 4 a.m. just cutting this wig in various different ways. As you can see, I started kind of getting a little frustrated and I just wanted to continue to chop it off. Don't do that. You are gonna live to regret it later. Um, more accurately, I kept cutting layers into it and I did live to regret that. I fixed it, but I did live to regret that. It will look really weird. The hair looks really pushed out and um, it's not exactly a bowl cut. I did fix it and I will talk about that certain tool later. Something I do want to point out though is the fact that I clipped where I want the bangs to be. And as you can see, I just took them down because I thought I was ready to cut those. And to be fair, I was, but I didn't end up going with the middle part on me. So this part I'm only including because it's part of the process, but I didn't end up using this particular part of the cut, if that makes any sense. Okay, hi. I beg you to just ignore the lighting right now because I didn't want to reset up my ring light at the moment because I'm going to go off and run elsewhere. I just want to have this real quick intermission. So obviously, I cut the time lapse thing because I actually went to bed um, at like 3 in the morning and I really, really, really uh, figured out that I just needed a break. It's been about a week. The wig has not been touched other than some little tiny adjustments in terms of parting but that's not what i'm talking about in this section this is unplanned but i'm gonna try to customize my wig head because i want to try and cut the back without it on my head i need to see what i'm doing back there otherwise it's gonna end up really really choppy and it's already starting to do that so we're gonna go on a little side quest and the next clip you will see of me is me set up and ready to go. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Bye. Okay, so I'm back from Walmart and I got 
some duct tape, cotton balls, and saran wrap. Plastic wrap, whatever you want to call it. And you're probably wondering, how, how is this going to make a customizable wig head? I don't know. I just hope this works. I've seen this online. Maybe I'll link it somewhere. But it's the cheap and easy way. This cost me like seven bucks. And I need all three of these things anyway. So it is very budget friendly and useful in the long run. I just hope I don't mess up. So first things first. Wig I gotta put on the wig cap. This is an important step. Trust me. Next thing I'm gonna do is actually wrap my head in this stuff. I know this sounds crazy, but trust the process. This is all just trust the process. I acknowledge that I look kinda insane. I kinda like I'm wearing a tinfoil hat gone wrong, but now we get to play with duct tape. <laughs> um, this is gonna act as structure. So something I forgot to mention is to use small strips for duct tape. And then I also felt out my wig cap slash hairline and my eyebrows and actually drew that on. As well as you'll notice there are little marker marks right by my eye line. So that way I can just vaguely see what I'm doing when I'm cutting it and it's on its wig head. Cap is done. I can't hear anything. Now. Gotta take it off. See? And all that's left is to literally stuff this with cotton balls. And then tape it on my wig head. This is really cool. It's kind of weird, but it's really cool. So finally, it's time to actually put this thing onto the wig head. I've done some measurements from the apex to the chin. It's actually half an inch off of my actual face. And this way around, like two inches off. So with that all said, we are going to pin this like this is a piece of fabric. And then we're going to tape it down. Let's have fun. All I did here was just pin two places on the wig head and then I stuffed that cavity in between the wig head and the wig cap with cotton balls and then I just taped it. And I did make more footage but I'm not going to show the rest here because that's it. Sup? Oh, you're going to focus on me now? I apologize for the terrible lighting. This video is just terrible lighting, isn't it? <laughs> um, so I did film earlier today uh, before work but I wanted to make an intro, so sup. <laughs> Behind me is actually Talia's wig. She's um she she's she's going through the paces. I've tried her on a few times. I've actually messed with her off camera. Uh I'm gonna try her on, just kinda check in and uh after that you're just gonna see time lapses stuff. So see you in a minute. Okay, so the first thing I immediately saw when I looked in the mirror is I love the length. I'm gonna keep it. This is as short as it's going. This is as short as, it is, as it's going in the back. Um, I'll explain basically what I did, but a quick little ta tangent in terms of this is I started to separate the layers and actually be, what's the word? Patient <laughs> with it. Um, I definitely don't think I'm gonna continue to do this, try to do this all in one go. Um, I just kind of hope that this will turn out well because earlier when I tried it on you can kind of see the little tufts right here I'm doing that right now um, It was this big floof like it was choppy and it was very ugly and I got really upset Which meant I had to take a step away from it, but now She don't look half bad so Well, we'll see how this goes All right Time lapse time. So the new things I started trying here is focusing on the back of the wig more specifically and steaming the roots because I was trying to take off all the weight that had accumulated and I didn't know how I did it. I still don't know how I did that. I kind of think it's because I was trying to cut layers and stuff like that, but 
what I was doing, it kind of worked, but it didn't super duper work. Also on top of that, I was starting to get really frustrated. So I did take a note and step back from the project again, but still I'm staring at the same thing. So I really needed to take a break. <laughs> But I did resection the wig in a way a pixie cut would be sectioned. I did some research on it um, and I tried my best to kind of emulate that. It did help. It really did. And it did kind of alleviate some of that frustration. So, like, do your research. It, it helps. Okay. Hi. So we're back in my bathroom. Obviously, I'm looking at the mirror, not the camera, because I actually think this is a good time to stop because I'm getting really frustrated with this wig. <laughs> and, um... But we, I also know that I'm getting pretty close, so this is a good time to teach people how to cut a lace front. So the instructions I gave in the original footage was kind of abysmal, so I'm going to just tell you here. All you have to do is cut really close to the hairline, and then don't forget to cut the ear tabs. I've been learning how to do that recently. As you can see, I'm actually pulling on the hair to kind of figure out where it's laying and then cut to where my ear is essentially. Uh, you Don't be scared to cut some hair off, but you know, keep an eye out for it. Hi, so, so time has passed obviously. Um, I messed with the back. I do have some of the beginning footage for that, but then my camera died and I continued to work. Basically my goal in this footage was to get this as flat as I possibly could while also making it look natural. And though there's some floof, it looks so much better now, as you can see. Because before it was like this long, big weighted thing. Um, what I ended up doing is I steamed it so that way it has this nice little actual head shape versus this uh, thing. You see the kind of the difference that I'm trying my best not to smush it very delicate um and then i use got to be glue hairspray and then and then and then and then i use this and i don't know where my thinning shears went but i also use thinning shears to kind of thin it out a little little by little and i went li like literally like weft by weft to do so because there was no other way for me to get through this without like being as meticulous as i could with that all said, when I put this tiara on, just to see what it looked like, it pressed everything down, which is great. It looked really pretty, actually. And I'm very, very excited to say that now I can move on to the bangs, which I just poked a hole in. <laughs> so we are now going to move on to that time lapse, and future Anna, have fun voiceovering. So to cut the bangs, I just pulled the hair straight up and cut straight across, but it's a basic guideline. Beyond this, I really didn't use it very much. Snack break! That was really good food, by the way. As for sectioning this while I'm cutting it, it I just kind of went across, across, across. It's kind of like adding, not layers, but like, think of loaves of bread. That's the best way to put it, loaves of bread. So right around here, I started cutting it to my face shape, as well as styling it, seeing what it looks like with the tiara and kind of stuff like that. I was happier with it, but not happy with it, so the next clip will definitely show how I felt about it. Hello! So, a few things happened last night. One, my camera ran out of battery. Two, uh, my SD card got full. And three, I actually got really frustrated, so I had to step back and um, get some sleep, essentially. So I, I did some more research and I bought myself a new tool. I've seen this around when I was looking at how to actually cut her wig in general, but I didn't want to go ahead and get this since I already had what I had. With that said, I bought this for $7 at Sally's. <laughs> it was really cheap. Um, and I've already started to use this and for what I need it for, it's doing pretty okay. I don't want to jinx it and say it's doing well or anything like that. What this is, is a razor comb. <laughs> so a razor comb, what it does is it essentially thins it out. Um, it's like a giant blade, but with comb in it. Uh, with that said, it's dual, dual side. So this side takes off more than the 
this side, the side I believe is called like the 50% side. I'm using this side because this side is um, meant to make choppy layers and I already have that. I'm trying to get rid of that. So this side makes free flowing um, blended layers, I guess. You have to be careful with this, like any blade, because, you know, the hair is not going to come back. So this is, this is the last hope. It, really, I can't cut it any shorter. It's gonna look weird. Um, so the only hope right now is to thin it. And um, yeah, that that that's it. You can. I'm I'm at my wit's end right now. So <laughs> I'm just hoping that this works. So the razor comb was an absolute game changer. It helped take off so much weight that I've been picking at for basically a month. And it helped me shape the bangs, it helped me shape the back and take off that bulk in the back. And it just made the wig look so much more natural and fall the right way. It just helped so much. And I wish I knew about this when I first started making this uh, video and cutting this wig because I really needed it um but you can hear my voice i'm very happy with it it helped a lot i helped it helped me focus on the back a little better and helped me just shape the wig out the way i want it to look on my head and it, it just it's just great you'll hear how happy it'll make me later in the video all right we are almost done i promise I promise we are this close to being done. It is actually near the 4th of July. Uh, it's currently July 1st and I am this close. So close. She's styled. She's bis She's all styled. Cut. All done. But there's this one little minute detail that needs fixing. So it's nothing to do with the actual hair itself. It has to do with the wig cap size. So the thing with the wig cap, sorry, is it's actually way too big. It's way too big on my head, even on the small setting. So I have ended up having to cross hairs, if you will, on the hooks. Google, focus on that. If you can see that there, I've had to cross the hooks and that creates a little crease. If you notice, I have a safety pin there. That's because I pinned down the crease and I'm gonna fold it so it's flat. Um, to, and it's gonna make it flatter to my head and create a little more of a natural look when I move my head around um and that's exactly what I'm about to film so I'm very excited I know how to sew <laughs> especially this like very simple kind of stitch and um after that it's gonna be done I get to show you what it looks like on its wig head and and and, and we'll be very very close to Tali being all done because I have almost everything I need for her so Let's get to sewing. There's nothing of note here. It's just a simple stitch. That's it. <laughs> Look at her. She's so pretty. So we have finally reached the end. She has been put away as a ceremonial thing of saying, hey, I'm done and I look amazing. I'm not joking though. She looks really good and I'm very excited to see her entire cosplay put together because guess what? When I finish the wig, usually means that her entire cosplay is almost done. The only thing I really need to get for her, um, as in her outfit, is I might make her a bracelet and might make a video about that actually. Um, and I will, basically all I need is get her pant chain and her contacts. That's it. That is it. And then she's done. I might make a bonus video about her props, uh, which would be Aegis, Aegis, her shield, and her spear. I am super excited if I go ahead and do that, but that, again, that's going to be a bonus video, but I can guarantee the next ep episode's going to be is her, her makeup and how I put her cosplay together, like actually her like clothing. So where I got her jacket and like her shirt and stuff like that. With that being said, let's talk about the things that I didn't expect to be in this video at all. So the first thing that I didn't expect to be in this video was the making of this, my custom wig head. I didn't really think that you could customize a wig head, especially with such cheap materials 
and I'm very happy I have this now because now I can use this for future projects if I so wish. I definitely don't regret doing this. This helped so much when I was styling uh, Talia's wig because you can't cut your own hair in the back. You can only see so much. So when I was styling her wig and put her on my wig cap, a wig cap, on my wig head, it was very helpful to see what I was doing in the back and how her hair would actually fall on, on my head because this essentially is like a general version of my head. Plus, my hairline is literally right here and it actually matches my actual hairline. So that was super freaking helpful and I'm very, very happy with it. The other thing I didn't expect to have was this comb. Like, the razor comb changed the freaking game as soon as it touched the wig. I wish I had this from the start and I wish I knew about this from the start because I actually didn't know about this till two days ago from filming this and that's when I actually finished the wig. Um, it definitely shaped the wig and basically made the hair shape on my head and I'm so freaking happy with it. I am so excited to use this in the future on cosplays that have spiky hair like her. Um, it definitely will come in handy if I ever do any anime cosplays, like any, because they all, you know, their classic spiky hair or choppy hair is everywhere. <laughs> Plus I like natural cosplays to begin with in the first place, so this definitely helped her hair look a little more real versus uh, a fake wiggy look, because it was, the wig was super thick and this helped thin it out, thinned it. Yes, totally. So with that all being said, it is currently the 4th of July, so I quickly want to wish everyone a happy Independence Day. And for those of you who don't celebrate Independence Day, I hope you guys have a good day. I had fun. Please press the substation button down below to join my Chaos Army. And, um, yeah, that's the end of the video. Bye-bye!